Good afternoon and welcome to The Eric Show. Well, Dr. Eric will give advice and sort out the problems of others. Today on the show, we have an extreme texter that doesn't do anything except for texting, tweeting, and checking her phone all day long. Now here we are with the one and only, Dr. Eric. Hello and welcome to my show. Now, I'm sure many of you out there have a cellular phone. You probably use it to talk to your friends, send photos, or check the internet, but imagine if your phone use took over your entire life. Well, that's the reality for this cell phone addicted young woman. She claims that she does nothing but use her phone. When she walks, drives, and even sleeps, she is still on her phone texting. Check this out. Without my phone, I go to school with my phone, I go to work with my phone, I text and drive. I mean, I don't even talk to people anymore in person. Why? I'm talking to them all the time. I even text in the shower. I text 24-7. I don't even talk to my family at dinner. Christmas, Thanksgiving, this is my family now. I have her here in the studio today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Samantha. You should move that. <laughs> welcome, Samantha. Um, now how much, in your own words, do you use your phone? All the time. Didn't you watch the video? Would you consider yourself a phone addict? Addict is a strong word. I mean, I consider this phone my mom now. I mean, all my mom does is nag me, but not an addict, just dependent. Hmm. Why would you say you're on your phone all the time? Why wouldn't I be on my phone all the time? Social media, the internet, texting, FaceTime, what more could you ask for? Some people would say that the use of phones in our world disconnects everybody. What, what do you have to say about that? Disconnects? I think the slogan for the cell phone is connect. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. Well, are you, are you aware of the risks, the, uh, the, the car accidents, arthritis? Some people would allege cancer. Ugh, I hear that all the time. There's radiation everywhere. We're all going to get cancer eventually. Hmm. Interesting. Well, um, I have a message. Uh, uh, one but... second. Hey. No, no, I'm not busy. What's up? No, no, no. Tune into Channel 4. Yeah, he's just bugging me about my cell phone use again. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm giving him serious sass right now. I think he was going to show me something, though, so I got to go. Okay. Text me. Bye. Well, I have a message from your mother via satellite. <clears throat> Welcome, ma'am. Uh, what, what do you say about your daughter's phone use? Dr. Eric, I don't know what to do with Samantha anymore. She is constantly on that phone, day and night. She doesn't talk to anybody. She barely eats. She doesn't shower. It's just disgusting. I tell you, I, as a parent, I just don't know what to do. Have you, 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 have you tried to, to stop her? I've tried, but what can you do? These teens these days, they've got their mind set that they, they have to have this phone in their hand all the time. It's like it's, like it's attached to them. Hmm. Well, do you have anything you would like to say on the air to her now? Samantha, please, honey, you were such a good girl growing up. If you could just find something else to do besides text and use your phone all the time, honey, you need to grow up and you need to learn to live life. Hmm. Powerful words. Do you have a response to that? I, I do. I, I mean, I love you, Mom. I'll try to find a hobby, but like what? Knitting? I'll try. I'll try, Mom. Well, um, my diagnosis, personally, I think you need to get a little bit of help. Help. Uh, yeah, I'll go get help. Hmm. All right, well, that uh, looks like that's all the time we have for today. Uh, thank you for watching The Eric Show. Stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, and I'll see you next time.